We're going to demonstrate how to measure impedance, uh, in this case impedance of a speaker driver, using audio tools and iAudio interface. First, we're going to explain the setup, both uh, wiring and calibration, and then show how to use the function. The first thing that we need is it's kind of a special cable. It's not too difficult to make, but it's just a uh, quarter inch TRS where we're only connecting the tip and ring. Uh, the ground is not connected at all on this cable. And this cable is actually going to plug into the output connector, since it's measuring load basically, of iAudio interface. And then I'm going to clip the actual uh, leads out of the back of the speaker here. And it doesn't matter which lead goes on to which lead of the speaker. There's no uh, importance of that polarity. And now that we have our cable set up, we'll show how to use the impedance functions. They're on the speakers menu under impedance. And you notice we have two functions, the impedance meter and the impedance sweep. They are both enabled by the same in-app purchase. So there's the impedance meter. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the setup function here. And you have to do this certainly before you use it. And it's not a bad idea before any round of testing to do this because we do have some variations in the phone with temperature over time. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the generator on. And we're going to let the system stabilize for a few seconds. And we're going to hit set maximum. And notice that I have nothing connected to the impedance test lead. So that's going to store that value. Now we're actually going to clip the leads together, wait a few seconds for the readings to stabilize, and hit set minimum. So that's now stored the calibration values. We can go back to our main screen, and I'm going to clip the leads onto the speaker terminals, and turn the output on. Now the device is going to read the actual impedance measured at the speaker, at the leads, at whatever frequency we select. So as we change the frequency, we're going to see the impedance changing. We also do get a reading here of the equivalent watts at a voltage, and that was on the setup screen. The system voltage was selected. And now we're going to have a look at the impedance sweep function, which again is bundled with impedance in the in-app purchase. And uh, first we'll turn the screen here and let it rotate around to our correct orientation. And now there's a couple of things that can be set here. Uh, this field here can set the length of the sweep in seconds. Uh, you can either have it faster or as you get to the longer sweeps there's more resolution especially at the lower frequencies. Let's pick uh, 10 seconds for this one and then I'm going to tap the generator button and let it go ahead and start the sweep. And it's computing the impedance in real time as the sweep is running. And there we have our impedance sweep. Now we can use this picker over here to change the smoothing uh, anywhere from none, which of course you see a little coarseness in the low frequencies, uh, up to the more smoothed choices. And uh, there you have it. We also have a cursor here that can read out the exact impedance and frequency at any point in the graph. And we also have access to the save and recall features, which include saving, recalling, uh, location stamping, and even taking photos with the iPhone. So there we have our impedance meter and impedance sweep functions using audio tools and iAudio interface.